Alright, welcome guys. This is my new YouTube channel. As you can see, I am doing art stuff. Usually I do a lot of art categories such as pencil arts, charcoal, acrylic and oil. Also watercolors. Here I am doing basic sketch of the art. I prefer watercolor for this piece because it's very simple, easy and not messy. Well, this girl lived in my imagination for a long time, so I decided to turn it to an art. Since this one is in my imagination and I didn't have a reference, I decided to use me as a reference. I feel so used. <laughs> Actually, that's kind of embarrassing because I had to pose like this, you know, like the girl. You know, I love some dark arts, you know, some horror arts and spooky, creepy stuff. And I wanted to make it more meaningful. Here is an interesting fact about the artist. You never know what they're trying to tell with their art. You never know what they're trying to express. The great thing about that, you can create your own meaning and your own vision for what you see in their arts. This painting process is a bit uh, easy. I use dry and paint techniques for this. And I colored hands lips, nose and eyes using red color. My opinion is when it comes to an art, there are no rules. Art is all about the freedom. Also I didn't have a plan to color this one and I just trusting my process here. And I decided not to draw eyeballs, don't ask why. I just use one size of brush for the whole painting. I don't know, still not satisfied with the result. I have to try everything to make it more artistic. Also, I added some stitches, bruises and veins to make it more spooky. Water is so important to watercolors. So I used a lot of water for this and a lot of time. Actually, that's not much of time but I had to wait until everything gets dry. Also when I try to paint hair, I didn't want to make it more realistic. I just wanted to look like a hair. Uh, I used flower rose to symbolize love, beauty, courage and romance. By the way that's what in the google, <laughs> you can google it. Okay, it's turned out to be a mixed media piece because I used color pencils. I like the whole vein idea because it's kind of, you know, creepy. Here is the most satisfying part. I use silver to make it, you know, glowing and, you know, I use that for eyes also. So when I turn off the light, it's so creepy, trust me. Then there you go, my final piece. Finally, it's just a painting. Bruised blind girl holding a rose. 
<laughs> or is it okay guys i'll see you in the next video also please comment about this piece what your vision about this piece bye